He says it's going to be some summertime beaters. Um, TJ Got Kick says, what's up, Dells from Malaysia? What up? What up, Malaysia? I love that. I love What's up guys, TJ Got Kicks 89 here back with another video for you guys Doing a really quick one on the recent pickup today Today is Black Friday as at the date of recording of this video um, Today dropped a pair that uh, most of us have been waiting since 2012 uh, We are talking about the Air Jordan 4 Retro White Fire Red Black Tech Grey Essentially, it is the Fire Red 4s. So let's just get these unboxed real quick and let me give you guys a rundown and my thoughts on what I think of the 2020 pair. So the Air Jordan 2020 Fire Red 4. I said that in the wrong order, but it doesn't matter here. Um, this was copped at Mid Valley um, at 10 a.m. earlier today. There is a good 360 view. Just giving you guys a quick look around the shoe. This shoe is an Air Jordan 4 silhouette released in 1989. Um, this was a follow-up or um, sorry um, Tinker's second model that he designed for Michael Jordan um, It features a primarily leather upper. I will have b-rolls on how the quality of leather looks, but um, Just for the sake of showing you they are very soft on both pairs obviously Um a thing to note is that this side panel here, which essentially is also the collar at the back, is um, synthetic leather, but still good nonetheless. Soft to the touch. Also here on the tongue. Uh, moving up, you've got the crowns here, which is supposed to resemble a basketball net. Uh, thank you DJ Dells for pointing that out in every single Air Jordan 4 video. You've got the mesh netting here. Um, angled as per the remastered series in the 2012s, it used to be uh, straightened. Um, same thing here on the tongue. Uh, you've got a black backing, um, and in the tongue, I believe there are perforations that allow for uh, heat to escape the shoe. Same thing here on the side. Moving up, you've got the plastic wing panel. This is supposed to be like a something like a dynamic fit system that Di that Nike was thinking of back in the day. It's uh, free floating. Um, over over years, this will deteriorate, obviously. So, best to wear your pairs as early as you can. You've got the same crown thing coming along up here. On the tongue, you've got the flight logo. Um, this was the second shoe to feature the Jumpman logo. On the inside, you've got Air Jordan upside down, um, and if you're a fan of, if you're a hype beast, you know that this is how the unions came. So they basically stitched on the pair. I do not know how in the hell you wear your shoes like this, but hey, uh, the 90s was a great era. Um, same thing on the other side. Now on the back is what we were looking for. This is the first time um, that it came in OG form. The Nike Air there in the back. Um, according to some people, the 2020 uh, black, the breads, the breads came with a slightly off-centered one, but I think it's still the same here. It still looks great. Uh, you guys aren't complaining. You're still buying the pairs, anyways. Uh, moving on to the midsole, you've got a polyurethane midsole encapsulated in there. You can see a white air unit. And the cup sole here is obviously red, gray, white. I'm not gonna spell out the colors for you. Um, and that is essentially it. Tech specs on the Air Jordan 4, encapsulated air in the heel, encapsulated air in the uh, forefoot, uh, flex grooves, um, and the air is also uh, 
it mimics the flex grooves that are on the bottom of the soles. Herringbone outsole, really great traction. Um, now people have been complaining about the construction and sloppiness of the QC of the shoes. It looks like the shoes were made in two different factories when Nightwing first posted his video. But this was the Nike Malaysia pair and honestly they look great in my opinion. Not much of a change and not much of a contrast in terms of the toe box. Except you can see there, this right side has a slightly bubbled effect as opposed to the left side which is a much more nicely sloped one. No major glue stains or issues whatsoever except for this toe. Um, which is slightly bubbly but I think it will wear over time and it will break in. The Jordan 4 is a shoe that you have to break in to really appreciate the entire technology and the construction. So that takes care of the review POV style very quick. Um, I really didn't want to get fancy on this one I just wanted to give my thoughts on this. Do I think this pair is worth the increase in retail price? That's entirely up to you. But um, if you're a fan of the nostalgia and you love this shoe, you had the 2012 pair, which like mine has crumbled. I'll try to get b-rolls of that out for you as well. And you're just a fan of the OG colors of the 4s or any um, shoe that Michael Jordan wore on court himself. Definitely worth a pick up. Good quality materials on the leather. Um, despite them cheaping out on the um, PVC or synthetic leathers on the certain parts that I pointed out in the video earlier. Rewind that so you can um, see what I'm talking about. Um, so, yeah, pick them up.